Yo, what's up? So this is going to be my weapon spotlight number two. So I've already done one video on the orbital strike. So what I have here is a legacy weapon. It's the junkie scattered automatic laser rifle. So it does have the prime capacitor on it. So you're going to get bullets explode for area damage, which I don't believe any of the um, energy weapons or whatnot have explosive damage. I believe they took them all away. If I'm not mistaken, you can correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, basically, this uh, damage increases when suffering from addiction because it's a junkie's weapon. Uh, it's 25% less VAT action point cost. And, of course, you have superior damage or bonus damage to Scorch Beast and Scorch. Now, one thing to keep in mind is the Queen it will not do additional damage to that because she's like, uh, <laughs> she's flame resistant or whatever. Uh, some of the other ones have the beam splitter. I have a medium scope on here. Uh, stabilized stock. Uh, I've got the stabilized automatic barrel, so it is automatic uh, prime capacitor. Right now we're doing 311 damage. Uh, fire rate's 45. Range is 701. Accuracy is 97. Weighs 6.85 pounds. Uh, it's a three-star level 45 and uh, has a current cap value of 503, which this weapon goes for a lot more than that. Uh, but this is what the weapon looks like right here. Uh, nice automatic laser rifle. I haven't shown this one off on stream yet. Uh, like I said, I have a ton of weapons that um, were either legacy or uh, hard to get in game. So I don't use all of them. But I figured I'd do a video on this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to a couple spots. I'll probably go to West Tech. And then I'll go down there to the Fisher site. And we'll look for a Scorch Bee, see how many shots we can kill it. Uh, maybe I'll try the, what is it, the, the huge super mutant thing at the Swan pond or whatever it is uh anyway so uh real quick too i just want to show you now i am built for a heavy gun as you see right here all my items are like or all my perk cards are heavy gun based like stabilized uh, i do have demolition expert on there so that will get a boost from that but uh one gun army etc i mean so i'm basically a heavy gunner uh, as you can see right there. So I don't have any commando perks or anything. Well, I guess I have this commando perk. So it is getting a little bit more. And then uh, with the addictions, I do have five. I have buff out, daddy -O, day tripper, mintat, overdrive. Oh, and actually psycho. I actually need to get one of those because you're only going to get, uh, I, don't, I think only five addictions uh, give you a boost. And I actually have an alcohol addiction too. All right, so let's go. We're going to get rid of some of these rads too. Let's go with right away here. Sip of the water. And we'll just see. As you can see, the ammo is 999. Basically one shot. Basically hit about almost 600 damage on them. That one was about 400. That one did about 600, 700. I think it was 592. I don't know because they put the numbers on top of each other. It was hard to read. That one did a lot of damage. That one's doing a lot of damage. Doing a lot. And we're doing like a thousand damage right now. I can't tell because they're... <laughs> you can see the type of damage numbers it does, though. I mean, incredible damage right there. We'll actually grab that. Yeah, here's some lead. Iron. Little pond. I know it's down here somewhere. Did I pass by it already? He's right here. Uh. <laughs> Basically one shot him. I mean, you see that right there? It one shot his ass like he was nothing. Uh, we'll take that. Take that, we'll take that, we'll take that, 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 and that. 
those. All right, now what we'll do is we're gonna go down here to the Fisher side. So I'm not gonna do a queen fight or whatever, but we'll just go down here and see if we can find a Scorch Beast or something. Uh, like I said, with the queen, because of the explosive damage, I mean, it'll still melt her. It just won't melt her like some of the other like broken weapons in the game. Like the mini guns and stuff like that, where you can melt her like, but I mean, it, it'll put in work on her though. Don't get it twisted. I'm not going to squat down so I don't get the sneak damage. So it mutated on three hits. Missing those. Basically took her down about seven hits. That's seven or eight hits with the mutation. We got another one over here. Now, had I been squatted down, you probably cut that in half because I'm getting two and a half times the the damage that I normally would get with the sneak attack. We'll try it on this one. Whoa. There's basically three hits on her. She's only level 50, though, so it wasn't like it was super high level, but, you know, still pretty good. I mean, basically anything in this game other than the queen, you're going to melt, like, basically with just a few shots. It's very uh, ammo efficient. Oh, that's one of the downsides to the weapon right there, too. That's one of the biggest downsides to the weapon. The explosive damage. If they are too close to you, then you will blow yourself up. So let's go get our drop loot. But uh, that's pretty much the weapon right there. I just wanted to show that off real quick. I know people like seeing some of these weapons and stuff. Like when I'm in game, they're like, oh, what weapon is that? You know, uh, they like looking at them and seeing them and asking me a bunch of questions about them. So this right here no different if you have any questions about the junkie scattered automatic laser rifle feel free to leave a comment down below and i'll do my best to try to answer the question uh, i might stream with this weapon tonight so if you're sub to me you know hit that little bell icon i do stream usually later at night uh i'm on eastern time so normally around i would say uh like 10 ish maybe like that 10 30 p.m eastern time so you know figure that out if you're like in a different time zone uh as, as to what time that is or you can just hit the little bell icon and get the notification when i do go live if you care to watch that uh i usually stream with uh different weapons and stuff all the time so if that's something that you're interested in you want to see them uh, i'll probably do another energy weapon spotlight next time for like a hard to find modded or legacy weapon that i have uh, in my inventory so uh stay tuned for that hope everyone has a great day i'm out peace